All right, welcome back, Garden State Growing. My name is Eric. We are back in my greenhouse. It has been a long time since I've even, I mean, I have come in here to check on my plants. I've come in here to water them, but I have not done much else. Uh, my backyard is still in pretty much disarray. I'll try to take you around and show you all of that. But the reality is, is that I live in central Jersey, and right now Jersey is the second most state in the United States with COVID-19. I do work at a hospital and we have been getting pummeled uh, horribly. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is I have just a, tr a tremendous amount to do. I, I need to start getting this greenhouse cleared out. I need to start getting some of these plants into the ground, my tomatoes. Uh, but right now, I still have a lot of maintenance to do. I have the fence to put up to keep my dog out. Um, I got some more garden beds to set up. Things are really difficult because I can't even get to the depot to get any of my supplies. Uh, even some of the most basic supplies. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working as hard as I can to get some of the stuff done and I'll try to bring you along and show you what I'm doing but I'm not going to film everything because I can't take time to stop and film. Uh, I'm sorry guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I have to do. I'm going to do it and I'll show you when it's done. All right. All right, guys, I didn't bring you along because, like I said, I needed to just get moving and get stuff done. So what I did was I put up this little chicken wire fence. Yes, I know. It's like the cheapest thing I could do besides just driving stakes in here and putting up a plastic fence, which I didn't want to do because that just looks like a construction yard. Um, I put a little gate in there so I can get the wheelbarrow in. Um what else i went to the uh depot yesterday and uh waited online to finally get a bunch of bags of soil uh just cheap top soil and some gardening soil i got my two by 12s more two by 12s another set of two by 12s on the other side to set up more garden space um i'm soaking my corn right now Today, I think I'm going to, I'm going to finish the rest of this fencing, which I forgot to get more fencing. Dang it. <clears throat> Looks like I'm going back to the depot. I want to finish this up and connect it to the fence over there and block out my greenhouse. So this way the poopy can't get in there and dig up all my gardening. I'm going to try to get the carrots in the ground today i'm going to try to get potatoes in the ground today and i'm going to try to get my tomatoes out of the greenhouse and plant it into these raised beds i'll try to bring you along uh if not i'll show you what i did afterwards all right bye bye all right guys it's uh i got the little fence up and again this is not to really keep out past it's just to keep out that right there so she doesn't dig into the yard and poop in my garden I still have a ton of cleaning up to do but I'm excited I want to start getting some tomatoes in the ground but before I do that I want to just show you what I'm gonna be using I'm just using a standard um, it's an organic soil mix Oops, drop my phone uh, it's just nature's cure organics it was you know the run of the mill i really don't care because i'm going to amend it anyway so what i have here in this bucket is a mixture of a whole bunch of things i got some perlite some vermiculite some worm castings some uh coop poop uh i did put in some dom uh dolomite because i want to add a little bit of extra calcium and i did put in just a touch of sulfur to uh, acidify the soil just a tiny 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 bit so I'm gonna mix this all in I'm gonna I'm gonna water it up a little bit um, just moisten it up a little bit and there we go it's all in I'm gonna mix that up actually I'm gonna add a whole nother uh, bag of soil to it um, gardening soil to it because this is just way too much stuff I'm going to mix it up, I'm going to water it down a little bit, and then I'm going to start getting some plants in, and uh, I'm going to get a bunch in, and then I'll show you how I plant my tomatoes, or how I'm going to plant my tomatoes this year, all right? All right, guys, I got some of the tomatoes in the ground. I'm going to bring you over. I'm going to show you how I plant my tomatoes. 
uh, and what my expectations are for the future with these. I'm only going to bring in, I'm going to show you what I do to plant like one tomato and then uh, I'm just going to have to continue on because I got just way too much to do right now. All right, so what I have here is the black crim and what I have back there, actually, oh, I'm sorry, what I mean to plant over here, black crim is the next row, is the black semen, S-E-A, men, tomato, it's a beautiful black tomato, I'm going to show you do, well, first of all, you know what, this is not really a great example Let me show you on this black crim here. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in these bottom leaves here. I'm going to take them off. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to single stem all these tomato plants. So I did the bottom three. I'm going to dig this hole. I have these spaced out a foot and a half on center now I'm removing this dirt this bed I prepared last fall and it's basically topsoil and peat moss and blood and bone meal and some uh, some rock dust and stuff like that to amend it. So I am removing this soil because it's broken down so well. Um, but I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to use these in my other gardening beds. I'm going to use this as fill because it's just beautifully composted down. There's earthworms in here. As I'm digging, I'm seeing earthworms. It's this beautiful black soil, but I would like a little bit more drainage in it. So I like my amended soil that I made earlier a little bit better. But all of this is gold right here. This is, this is a year's worth of preparing right here. So now that I have my hole dug, oh, that's my black creme again. I want to bury it up to about here. So I'm going to measure down, and I'm a little bit below where I would like to be, but that's fine because I'm going to add my amended soil, a handful or two. That looks about good right there. I'm going to add a little bit of blood meal for some nitrogen right there at the bottom. Put that in and fill it up around the edges with my amended soil that I made earlier. And I am going to pack this down just a little bit. It's really soft and airy, that's what I want, but I want to give the root structure enough to grab onto, but that's going to be fine with tomatoes. Tomatoes are part of the nightshade family along with uh, sweet potatoes, not sweet potatoes, I apologize, regular potatoes. And there are a vine, so you have to train these to grow vertically. I will be trellising these later on. I haven't decided exactly how I want to do that yet, so I'm just going to put these in for right now. And everywhere that I buried along this stem roots are going to grow out of and that's exactly what i want it's going to be a healthier plant it's going to be a sturdier plant it's going to give it uh, the ability to uptake nutrients a lot better so that's that for now um i'll bring you in for a closer better look on on pruning these up to a single stem uh, but for now i'm just going to keep on going all right all right guys it's april 8th early in the morning um i just got finished planting some of my tomatoes last night i literally put the last ones in at like eight o'clock or a little bit after eight o'clock the sun was already going down i couldn't even see what i was doing anymore so let me turn the camera around i'll show you what i did 
Okay, so like I said, I, I cut off the first two or three leaves to single stem them and I buried them. Remember these plants were about eight inches tall. Now they're about four because I buried them down all the way up to the splits. We have our chocolate stripes, our beef steaks, green zebras, Costa Lute Genovese, Ukraine purple, the sun globe, black semen, black crim, the hillbilly, black fram, Ace 55, the Hartman's Yellow Gooseberry, which are very, 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 very tiny, tiny, tiny little blueberry-like tomatoes. Uh, I heard they're hard to grow, though, so we'll have to see how well. They look like they're doing great right now. I'm not really seeing any uh, transplant shock. I mean, the leaves are a little droopy, but it did rain last night. I got the alpaca, beautiful, the Sheboygan. I love the Sheboygan. Uh, the parsimon. The Mortgage Lifter, Yellow Stuffer, and White Cherry. 